Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. This is the first one I've done in a couple of weeks, so apologies to my uh, subscribers and viewers. But I've got an interesting one uh, to get us back into the swing of things. And it's a beer from McEwan's. And it's a Scotch whiskey beer. And it's a bottle of their Headspace. Coming in at 5.8% ABV. Um, this beer has already been opened and poured into a glass because it's meant to have a bit of a whiskey taste to it. I thought it might be a good idea to get it in a glass and let it sit for a while. Um, yeah, Scotch whiskey beer, premium, smooth and fruity from McEwan's who have been brewing out of Scotland since 1856. Um, it says, Headspace is a superb handcrafted beer blended with one of Scotland's finest celebrations. Synonymous with Scotland, the finest Scotch whisky has been blended with this smooth and fruity beer, giving a unique, rich and full-bodied flavour. Um, nothing in the way of ingredients, which is really disappointing, and there's no mention whatsoever of any Scotch whisky distillery being affiliated with this beer, which is a little bit worrying, if I'm honest. It looks like it might be another one of those um, kind of artificial tasting type things. But yeah, McEwan's Headspace. I've got some in the glass. There it is. It's uh, got a very thin, slightly off-white finger head on it. It's a very dark, kind of sort of hazelnut looking colour to it. Chestnut, dark brown, got a bit of red bleeding through it. Um, carbonation levels, it's not a particularly mad one. It's quite calm, in fact. Um, yeah. It's a kind of a traditional looking kind of ruby ale. Let's get an aroma on it. Loads of fruit. It's like a bit of toffee malt. Um, yeah, this just smells like a uh, a traditional fruity malty ale. To be honest with you, lots of kind of um, uh, sort of sultanas, raisins, and things going on with the aroma on this one. Um, Definitely toffee malt. There's a very slight oaky note to it. Um, smells a little bit like old speckled hen, but but just with a slight kind of little bit of smoke to it. But it is very subtle. That slight oaky aroma, along with the fruit and the toffee malt. Um, let's get a taste. Cheers, guys. To be honest, the taste matches the aroma down to a tea. Loads of fruit, loads of toffee malt, lots of that kind of... There's a little bit of cherry to it. Lots of raisins, sultanas. Has a big fruit cake taste to it. And then the, to the toffee comes in. So definitely a slightly boozy fruit cake taste to it. There's a toffee. And with the aroma, there's that slight bit of oakiness. It's a very, it's different this. Instead of, it's not hoppy. It's not particularly bitter. But there is this slight oaky, very subtle kind of peatiness. Um, it, that oakiness, that peatiness that I'm talking about doesn't sound... It doesn't taste particularly natural, if that makes any sense. It, it tastes slightly artificial, um, almost slightly chemically, if I'm being honest. Um, initially, that fruitcake taste, that, that toffee malt, is quite pleasant. Quite nice, fruity toffee malt. And then in comes that, this slightly weird, oaky, almost peaty taste to it. Um, it's almost like they've taken inspiration from some of the the Isla whiskies, like the Lafroigs and things like that. This, that seems to be the finish that they've gone for, or something that tastes like that. But the more... That lingers slightly, this oakiness, it lingers. And the more you taste it, the more kind of artificial and sort of just bordering on chemically it's starting to taste. It's just starting to become a little bit unpleasant.
like I say, the taste complements the, the aroma perfectly. You smell it and you taste it and it matches up almost to a tea. It reminds me a little bit of... Um, it reminds me a little bit of Lidl's Ruby Rooster, the Hatherwood beer. Um, in that it's... Well, I say it reminds me of the old Ruby Rooster. I reviewed Ruby Rooster a couple of weeks back and I think that recipe has improved. It's gone up a level. This reminds me of the old Ruby Rooster. Almost like it's like a little bit light on the ingredients. It has like a nice flavour, but there's not enough of it. Pardon me. And then they've tried to add something to give it kind of a Scotch whiskey feel. And it is that oakiness, that, that very slight smoke taste with the oak at the back end of it. But it tastes very artificial and slightly chemically. And it's not very pleasant. The more I drink it, Yeah, the more I drink it, the more unpleasant that kind of oakiness is becoming. And it's obviously in there to kind of give it that slight Scotch whiskey characteristic, but there's no real whiskey flavour on that. You're not really getting any of the uh, the 5.8% on this. It tastes a bit like Ruby Rooster, the old Ruby Rooster, the, the poor, poorer Ruby Rooster. This is a bit disappointing. Um... But to be honest, as soon as I realised there was no mention of any particular distillery on the bottle, there's not even any ingredients on the bottle. Look at the amount of writing that is on there. There's no ingredients on it whatsoever. There's loads of writing on there, but essentially it says nothing. Um, that's a bit disappointing. Oh, yeah, it looked good. It smells good. It's got a nice fruit cake, toffee malt aroma. Nice, again, it backs it up with the taste. There's a lot of fruit cake taste to it. A lot of the toffee toffee malt taste to it. And then that weird, oaky, slightly peaty flavour comes in. It is subtle, don't get me wrong. It, it, it's not a strong flavour. There isn't really any whiskey characteristic to it. But there's that slight bit of oakiness that they've used to try and describe it as a Scotch whiskey beer. But it's slightly unpleasant. That It's chemically, it tastes very artificial. Um, I think it lets the beer down a little bit. Um... But there you go, it's 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 one of them. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 10, because it starts off really nice. Um, and then they say they try to add something to make it taste a little bit like Scotch whiskey, and that essentially balls up the beer for me. Um, if they'd have left the beer characteristics out of it and not bothered trying to make a, a whiskey beer, it probably would have been quite a nice multi ale. But... Um, yeah, there you go. Um, McEwan's Headspace Scotch Whiskey Beer, 3 out of 10. This is available in most supermarkets now, I believe. Um, it doesn't really taste of whiskey. Um, I wouldn't expect much of it, to be honest with you. If you're looking for a, a whiskey-infused beer, I think there's a reason why they're two separate things, to be honest with you. They've brought this together. It just doesn't really work for me. 3 out of 10 for McEwan's Headspace Um yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back with another one very soon. Take care, guys.